Hi, this is Carolina, and I'm going to demonstrate how to create a circuit between a continual chest roll, back roll, chest roll, back roll, so that you're not really moving from where you are in space, but you're moving constantly between these rolls. I recommend that you start with the chest roll. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're performing this for an audience, I recommend that you start with their back towards them so that during the back roll you don't have your bottom sticking out towards them. So if we start with our chest roll from this side, we go chest roll and catch. And you're going to catch it with your palm underneath and immediately extend your index finger so you've got control of it. You're going to let that hoop fall down, come up on the other side, and that from here it can either, you can move the index finger to the front of the hoop so that now the hoop can come up between these two piece fingers or you can move it to the back of the hoop so now the hoop can come up between these L fingers the, between the thumb and the pointer finger and it doesn't really matter it's whichever one you're the most comfortable with so if I let my hoop now come up and roll oops, and catch it immediately extend my pointer finger direct the hoop down up to the other side into a chest roll, down, up the other side, into a back roll, down, up the other side. So right now my left foot is staying pretty much glued to the ground and my right foot is walking around it. So. That's it, really. That's the breakdown of it. It's a pretty good way to drill this move. Um, try to keep your head steady so that you don't get dizzy. Uh, don't speed up. Well, a lot of times when we start doing things, we start going faster and faster, and that can make you dizzy. But if you do speed up, slow to a stop. Don't just stop. That will definitely make you dizzy. So that's basically the long and the short of it. You're going to take it out, deliver it, Catch it. Oh, I started with my back roll, which you can do that too. So if you're doing it with your back roll, you're going to catch it, extend your index finger, bring your hoop underneath, and now you're in your chest roll. Catch it, extend your index finger, and now you're in your back roll. Catch it, extend your index finger, and now you're in your chest roll. So, yeah, I really like that. It's a fun way to practice it, and I think it looks really cool. You can also Pair that with the traveling step that I taught you for the back roll earlier. So if you did the, the back roll where you stepped with it and then caught it and rolled it and did a step there, then step with it with your back roll, caught it and rolled it. It's a great way to travel a long distance. Let me see if I can do it from here. So it would be, I'll start with my chest roll. So I start the roll and I step out. <laughs> that was a close call right there. I start the roll, oh, really bad. <laughs> and I step out. I bring my feet together as I start to pass, and I'm going to step just a little bit so I don't hit that again. And then I roll it over my back, step out, roll it over my chest, step out, roll it over my back, step out, roll it over my chest, step out between the two ceiling fans. It's crazy the videos that I'm trying to do here, the moves that I try to do in this little space, if y'all only knew. Alright, I love that. I've been working with that for a couple of years now and I just think it's a lot of fun both to do stationary and traveling. I hope you like it too.